Good morning, friends. Today I am in my garage test bench area where I'm going to try out a replacement for the Dallas uh, clock chip battery that uh, was dead on my Socket 3 motherboard. Uh, we took a look at that motherboard on my salvage yard find and salvage yard cleanup video that I posted the other week. And this morning, I'm pleased to have a special guest with us. Uh, everyone say hello to Smeagol. Smeagol! Smeagol, I appreciate you coming by today. And are you familiar with computers? What's computers, precious? Well, I'll show you, Smeagol. Computers are what Uncle Mike loves to work with. And... If you remember, Smeagol, from watching my video the other day, we had a bad clock chip on this motherboard right here. And it was on the motherboard, and she was dead. And as we can see, there's our Dallas clock chip. We were lucky that it was socketed. So the question was, what am I going to replace this with? Am I going to get an exact replacement? Because you can buy these. You know, they're still out there. They're still out there. There's some new old stock. Um, some of it can be sketchy. Uh, there's many instances on the internet where people order these and they come dead or just partially working. Uh, you know, very low charge. And, you know, that just doesn't seem to cut it. Uh, it seems kind of like a waste of money and time if you think about it. And as we know... She boots, and then she just hangs there. And when the battery was actually in, of course, it said low uh, clock battery, please replace. And we didn't get any further. Couldn't get into the BIOS, couldn't do anything with it. So I'm hoping that what I'm going to show everyone today will be an excellent replacement for this clock battery. So I got this package the other day from a manufacturer on a site called Tindy. Smeagol, you ever heard of Tindy? Tindy! What's Tindy? Is that Tinder? No, Smeagol, it's not Tinder. Uh, Tinder's a dating site. Uh, this is Tindy. And Tindy is a site, it's sort of like an electronics Etsy from everything that I could see on it, where folks who make gadgets that do various purposes, a lot of it, a lot of it retro stuff, um, hard drive interfaces, um, Compact flash card interfaces for for older computers, um, some replacement chips, some BIOS chips, and this developer on the site had what they tout as a replacement for our clock chip with a built-in button battery. And here we are. What do you think of this, Smeagol? Smeagol doesn't know! Smeagol confused! Well, don't be confused, pal. Look, we got a battery. Little lithium battery. And we've got... What looks like, yep. A socketed little clock chip. Let's go ahead and open that. Smeagol likes razor blades! Okay. And here we are. That is a nifty little piece of gadgetry. I apologize if it's not focusing quite right, folks, but this is... This is just a nifty little piece of gadgetry. Now, the interesting thing, Smeagol, can you guess what I have in my pocket? What has it got in its pocketses? Strings and such. No, I've got the other clock chip. So the manufacturer did say that he couldn't guarantee on the pinouts that were available on the clock chip. Some people had to cut one or two to get the signals right. So this side is good. 
All right, that, that matches up very nicely. When we switch the other side, all right, we have three, three, and this chip, my chip, is missing one pin. But I think what we're going to do, Smeagol, is we're going to test this as is. I hope we don't uh, blow everything up. But I think we'll test it as is and um, see if we get a boot. What do you think? Sounds good! Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll uh, unwrap, we'll unwrap our button battery here and we'll throw that in. Then we'll get everything working here. And there's nothing like a tiny little Ziploc bag to slow a guy down in the morning. All right, let's see what we got. Dear Lord. There it goes. And I have no doubt that these are available everywhere and anywhere. Just a little tiny little clock battery. And the nice thing about these is you don't have to think about which way to put them in. Of course, you don't want to drop them. Because they can roll away. All right, so. Let's get that in there. It's in. And I think we're going to put that in the motherboard and test it. All right, so we have the power off to the motherboard. And Smeagol, I'm going to check the orientation of the old clock battery. We've got our dot there. And we've got the notch in the socket. So our single pin should be facing this way. And we'll set this aside. So we should be able to just... Pop this bad boy in right here. Make sure we get good pin contacts before we push down. And hopefully everything works. Trickster! No, no tricks. No tricks, Meagle. I think this just might work. We're in, we're secure. We'll hit the power on the power supply. We'll hit our switch. We'll turn on the monitor. We'll make sure we're on VGA mode. And we'll give it a try. Nothing's happening! Smeagol's scared! I'm a little scared too, Smeagol. It could be that extra pin. It could be the fact that, well, we haven't hooked up any floppy or hard drive. So it could still be searching for everything. So I bent the pin because it was not working correctly with the one pin, the extra pin. So I bent it to the side, reinserted. Everything's nice and snug. Get a little power. And we're booting. And it looks like the battery works. And it wants us to run setup. And here is where I am jammed up. So 
We do have a PS2 keyboard plugged into the proper socket and darned if every keyboard I tried this morning does not work. So, is it a bad connector? So when I plug it into the other socket for the mouse, it does say missing keyboard. And if I try and turn it on without the keyboard, it says missing keyboard. So it feels like it recognizes there's a keyboard attached. I do get a flash of light on the boot and then dead. And I did try plugging it in, oh, you know, just a little bit, a little bit further, just to see if I needed to really get it in there. And we're still nowhere. So we fixed our clock battery issues. Um, it's recognizing that it doesn't say, you know, dead clock battery. It wants us to go into setup. And it looks like right now, until I figure something out, I am at a standstill. And I really like this motherboard. And I really want it to work. And I really want to try everything in here. So I will keep working at it, friends. And I will post another video if I get a workaround. Or if I get a workaround before I edit and post this video. So Smeagol. Smeagol's sad for Uncle Mike. Smeagol's sad. I appreciate it, buddy. All right. Talk to you later, friends.